hello guys welcome back to my channel JB graphics I promise you nothing but the best always okay today we're going to learn a new thing but before that I just wanna thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel always click on the notification button so that you'll be the first to receive my tutorial video okay i just want to thank you god bless you god bless you for watching and continue watching jb graphics okay so today we're going to we're going to learn something on pixel lab you see we're going to learn something on pixel lab we're going to learn about the tools so that we'll be familiar with pixel lab whenever we are working with okay so please you take notes and then you follow everything that i do so don't worry this is a premium pixel app don't worry you can join my whatsapp group and then you get it for free free of charge you can check my link my whatsapp group link down there and you join I will just give it to you for free the normal one the blue one is on play store you can get that one too there there is nothing unique only some few things that makes this one unique okay we move so you open your pixel lab okay so you delete this now we start from the top left corner you see we have a plus icon there this this is a plus icon now what does this do when you click on it there are certain things down here that you will find it in it so let's click on it and see you see we have text current date sticker sheets from gallery draw so these are Things that when you click on the plus icon it pops up these things which pops up some of them have their unique tools also down here but this plus icon helps you to get them very easy so sticker if we say sticker or the sticker or this text you click on that you see new text then when it comes like this you click on your a then you see we have edit here you have edit here you click on it you see then you write whatever thing you want jb graphics okay this is it okay hmm okay let me give my work a background so that we can all see whatever that happens here I'm going to give the text a color. Okay. So, sorry I'm jumping from the top to the down. I just want you to see everything clearly. So, you come here this this two box here, you click on it. Then you come to color. Let me introduce this one okay so you see this is a background this icon means background so this is background color transparent after working and you don't want any color for your uh, at the background of your work you click on transparent image size how you want your image or your work to be whether it should be in a4 it should be in a youtube thumbnail if you're going to design a youtube thumbnail so you can check it here you see you click on this arrow you see we have custom we have square profile picture we have youtube channel banner youtube thumbnail and a whole lot okay so that is that 
for the image size then crop if you want to crop something image and here from gallery okay if you want to add from your gallery instead of image you come here okay then you have from gallery we have some backgrounds to here when you click on the image it will pop up you see i'm going to click on the image you see the your pixel lab also have some backgrounds already okay so this is from camera maybe the picture that you want to use you're not going to take a picture of it you just click on from camera then you take a picture then here from gallery when you click on it it will send you to your gallery then you choose the picture that you want to use as your background okay so let me give it a background color here I click on it I choose white you no know, white is my favorite color white then you click on your check mark okay so I'm done with this now we are on the text so here you said text you have current date that is the date uh, the date that you are doing your work we have sticker when you click on it you will see that there are some stickers down here you can check it here we have stickers plus we have stickers you see we have emojis too here then you select the sticker that you want okay we have shapes when you click on it it will open the shapes for you you see this is the shape so you click on this arrow to choose the shape that you want you see we have other shapes over here we have the square the circle the semicircle the arrow triangle and the whole lot the star love so the one that you like you just choose maybe you want this shape or let's choose the star and give it a color so you see down here you can scroll so you scroll and then you give it a color let me choose black okay black star you get it okay then you click on your check mark this okay so now from gallery that means you're going to add a picture from your gallery and then the draw to you get a pen to the you increase the size you see we have the uh, eraser here you have the pen size here you have the smoothness the blur radius and other stuff okay so we move to the second one this like that of a memory card now after working you have to save your work okay after you are done with your work whether you are saving the final work or whatever maybe you're going somewhere you're going to do something so you would have to save your work so that you come and then continue later so you click on it we have save as projects then we have save as image save as project means you are saving it in the app that means you can work on it anytime that any day anywhere then save as image means you are saving your work into your gallery okay you are saving your work into your gallery okay so you click on save as project you see then you type the project name here if you click on save as image you see we have jpeg no transparent you can choose a different one that is png but i like that of the jpeg and then you see dimension you have default here always you have to save your work in the ultra mode this the last one that means its quality will be very high in the ultra mode so you click on ultra then after that you click on save to gallery to save your work okay now we move we move to the next one this share after your work you can share it to facebook twitter google straight away without saving it to your gallery then this one 
also is a, a code too when you click on it there are some already made codes you can see them over here then you select then these three icons let's say you were working you couldn't save your work and then you left to somewhere so when you come you click on it we have recover auto save here okay recover auto save that means the work you were doing it will save automatically even without saving it as a project so you click on it your previous work will come okay mm -hmm. we have used image from gallery if you don't want to click on the plus icon you can add from here full screen that is if you want to work with the full screen use image from camera export so this one too helps you to you know do works or instead of you going to select a tool from somewhere you click on it and then you select whatever you want simple way now this this edit icon when you click on it you see we have this things over here this is relative position this is rotate move a relative size and a whole lot we have this one to whether to pick from your background or whatever so as you can see pixel lab is more like photoshop so you can see how the tools are now delete icon now if you want to delete something you just select the thing and then you click on hot the delete icon if I unselect, you see that the delete icon is not there anymore. But when I click on it, it pops up. Okay. Let's say, you see, I'm going to copy this. Or you do something and you want to redo. You just click on the back icon, then it will go back. This is a zoom tool, the plus thing here. It's a zoom tool. You have to zoom your work. You see, you see I'm zooming my work. To see how clear your work is okay this is a great tool a ruler you should be using this so that your work will be in alignment properly so you see we have rulers here uh, some lines one two three you can add more of the lines when you click here this setting the great setting button then you click on this you see you have number of horizontal guides number of vertical guides you can just type as many lines you want so let me say 24 36 okay so you can see the relays okay this helps you to arrange your weight very well and neatly okay so if you don't need it again you just click on it here top here it will go away if you need it back you just click on it again that is all and then this is a layer two this is a layer two this so when you click on this it helps you to know which of your layers is in front which one is at the back so the shape i selected uh, star okay so you see i just selected the star so you would see that let me click i'm clicking on the layer too now over here you can see that the star is on top the jv graphics is at the bottom meaning jv graphics was the first thing i added and then uh, the star was the second thing i added you can reposition it let's say you want to put the jd graphics on the star so you click on this you see jd graphics is now on top so if i push if i position it well in the middle let me see you see jd graphics is on the star okay so i will you see there are some 
tools down here and here you get to know of it those tools are also in pixel lab and you get to know the use of it very soon check the tutorial of pixel lab part 2 and then you will see it there i'm going to explain them into details as i explain the first one or the ones on the top don't forget to subscribe to my channel like you say and then you leave your comment in the comment section below thank you for watching and i say god bless you so don't forget search for pixel lab tools or yeah search for it pixel lab tools on my channel and then part two part two this is part one you search for part two so that you'll be familiar with all the tools when you are working you will not find yourself wanting okay bye bye